During the 1990s, runway congestion became increasingly problematic, forcing airports and aircraft manufacturers to devise ways to free up space. For Airbus, the answer was simple. Larger planes that could carry more people would allow airports to absorb more passengers with the same number of flights. Airbus had seen the success of Boeing's partially double-deckered 747 and attempted to one-up them with the first fully double-decker plane. This led them to develop the A380, which for many was seen as the future of aviation. Able to carry over 500 passengers, it was presented as the ideal way to reduce airport congestion. However, during the time from the beginning of development in 1988 to the first flight in 2005, the airline industry chose a different path. Rather than using larger planes, airlines decided to buy mid-sized planes that could fly directly between regional airports, bypassing large hubs. For example, in the past, to fly from Washington DC to Dublin, passengers needed a connection through Frankfurt or London. However, with mid-sized planes like the two-engined Boeing 787 Dreamliner, connections between smaller airports like Dublin and DC have become possible. This made the A380 a massive disappointment and a financial disaster for Airbus. With just two engines, mid-sized planes require less maintenance and burn less fuel per passenger. This makes them attractive to carriers, especially when oil prices are high. Larger planes like the 747 and the A380 are only economically viable on high-volume, long-distance routes where landing slots are expensive, like Abu Dhabi to London. As a result, the market for jumbo jets is shrinking. Additionally, the FAA's revised ETOPS regulations, which allow twin-engined planes to fly more than 60 minutes from a diversion airport, has allowed planes with fewer than three engines to fly longer distances over water. This change allows mid-sized planes to fly where only larger three or four engine planes were once allowed. A testament to the rise of mid-sized planes is that the once popular 747 has fallen out of favor with airlines. In 2017, Boeing announced a 50% cut to the 747's production rate. Flight statistics are even more telling. In 2015, 747s flew 124,605 flights, followed by only 106,454 in 2016, a drop of about 18,000. This decline is a result of airlines choosing to phase out their 747s. The first company to do so was Singapore Airlines in 2012, and other airlines soon followed. For example, KLM recently announced that they plan to phase out the 747 by 2021, and Lufthansa and British Airways are opting to replace their 747s with the more fuel-efficient 777X. With all of this in mind, it's not surprising that Airbus received no orders for A380s in 2017. Since Airbus must build at least 6 to 8 A380s per year for the program to remain profitable, it needed an order for more planes to avoid shutting down the A380 final assembly plant near Toulouse. This order came in early 2018 when Emirates ordered 20 planes with an option to buy 16 more. The order had the potential to save the A380, since it would keep the plane in production for several more years. However, the order was cancelled in early 2019 before being completely filled because Emirates opted to buy Airbus's smaller planes instead. Although Airbus will continue to deliver A380s until 2021, Emirates' decision led Airbus to announce that it planned to end production of the A380. Even so, there is still potential for large planes like the A380 to exist in the future. Passenger traffic is doubling every 15 years, meaning that eventually there could be demand for larger aircraft. A growing global economy and lower oil prices may further incentivize airlines to invest in larger planes. Additionally, large planes may appeal to new markets like China, where ever-increasing airport congestion will inevitably lead to demand for planes like the A380. However, as it stands now, the continued survival of jumbo jets remains uncertain. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This has been Pigunis. Thanks for watching.